What's good, my little sprinkles? It is your favorite cupcake, Lux, back with another episode of Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Yeah, that sounded, I don't know why that sounded kind of off to me. But anyway, so we're here, and there will be a grinding montage at the very end of this episode because I did grind off screen. We are in Violet City, ready to take on the gym. I mean, we're ready, but we're not going to because we still have to deal with uh, Sprout, Bell Sprout Tower. What's wrong with you? Okay, sorry, I was like going, my character was going in circles. What is it? It's Sprout Tower. Okay, so we have to go and um, deal with this first before we are able to get to the gym, which I'm really, really worried about. But I did train up, so hopefully it'll be enough. It won't be enough. Hopefully it will be enough. Okay, and I pray to the Pokemon gods above that I do not lose, lose a single Pokemon. So, um, I did have a Weedle, but and you will see during the grinding montage that it evolves into Kakuna, which is level 10, Buzz. And then I also have Buckbeak, my Pidgey, level 13. Bell, my Bellsprout, level 10. And Brosidon, my Totodile, level 12. So I believe Buzz is going to evolve again in this episode. Since I have him out up front, he's probably going to be able to evolve while uh, battling some of the trainers here in Sprout Tower. So... We'll have our first evolution in like the third episode. It's not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Oh my gosh, and I just realized we entered a new area. Does yeah, this is a new area technically, right? If I stumble upon a Pokemon here, I get to catch it, right? I mean, if Pokemon come out, I don't even remember. I don't remember if Pokemon come out want to say they do but I could be wrong it's been a while since I've played crystal it's been like a year all right so we have bell sprout and I'm gonna go ahead and use poison sting it's a level three so yeah that does not I'm gonna try my best not to fast forward but I think I think buzz will be okay he's doing good yeah he's doing good <laughs> all right and buzz just leveled up Nice, nice and easy level up right there. Buzz is evolving and he will evolve into Beedrill, which is pretty awesome, but he doesn't have any good moves, which totally, totally sucks, but oh well, it is what it is. Yeah, he's excited. Congratulations, your Buzz evolved into Beedrill. Nice. Okay, so, hmm, hmm, all right. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna run into anything here. Oh well, let's get this Pokeball. It is a paralyzed heal. <gasps> I don't know if I got anything from the store, potion wise. I don't think that I did. No, oh, yes, I did. Okay. I have two antidotes and a potion. 11 potions. No, we're good. Whew, we're good. We're totally good. Stop running into things. Are you kidding me? She's drunk. She don't know how to walk. Alright, so who are you? We stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. Alright, and do you have... Yeah, you have our bell sprout. I'll be able to take you on easily. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. This is good. This is awesome. Alright. And wouldn't that suck if I totally lost bell sprout? I mean, not bell sprout. If I totally lost Buzz, because I'm over here using the speed up button. That would suck. I really have to stop doing that. It's gonna be the death of me. It really is. Okay. Oh. And... Did I? No, we ran into a wild Pokemon. Yes! And it's a Ghastly! It's a Ghastly. So... Can we catch this? Will the Poison Sting kill it? It shouldn't, right? Oh god. No! Oh, okay, good. It, it's not very effective because it's... Are you serious? Okay, good. Good. Ooh, and Ghastly will be good when catching Pokemon, too, because I'll be able to put them to sleep. Alright, come on. You can take, like, maybe one more. Don't miss it. Oh, thank God. Thank God that has such bad accuracy. Or it's, like, working in my favor this time. Come on. Should I try? One more might kill it. One more might kill it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch it now. I have enough Pokeballs. I have 11. Ghastly is a good Pokemon, although to 
Although to be fair, like I don't think I'll be able to use him past Haunter because I can't trade. Okay, cool, cool. We caught a ghastly. But yeah, I can't trade it away to get that final evolution, which really sucks. So since Ghastly and his whole evolution line, you know, Nappy's favorite Pokemon is Gengar. We're gonna go ahead and name it Nappy. Yes. And uh alright, so N No, I need the alright, lowercase. I can't stand when they're all in uppercase letters. It just drives me insane. Okay. So there we go. New party member. Oh, oh we just ran into this guy. I meant to. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I was going to look up to see what um what nature he has and stuff. Or what moves. Well, I know he has Lick and Hypnosis, which are probably the only two moves he knows at this point. Alright, Buzz. Do your thing. Do your thing. Ain't no thing. What did she? Okay, yeah, I'm getting carried away. I'm getting carried away. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Took care of that guy. Oh no, we do have to go up the stairs. This ladder. Let's go up this ladder. Ooh, I see a pokeball. And we found a potion. Nice. I don't know if I need to use one yet. He's slowly losing HP. Buzz is slowly losing HP, but I think we're still good. I think we're still good. I don't know how many more levels we have to go. This is the third level, I believe. All right, more bell sprouts. Okay, that one's a level six. I just realized it, but we're still good. We're still good. You know what? I should probably switch out Buckbeak and hopefully, hopefully, have him get to level fourteen because I'm deathly afraid of that gym. Ah, uh, I swear, all my Pokemon are weak. They're all weak to the flying type gym because I have grass, I have bug, I think bug is also super weak or I think, yeah, I think so and then I don't know about water I can't remember if flying is super effective against water honestly cannot but I don't want to take that chance that is my starter, that is my main man, this is Brosidon and I just cannot take that risk can't do it, can't do it. Oh, no, this is the last level. It's the last level because I just saw my rival there. Cannot miss that red hair. <laughs> Weasley, I'm coming for you. Oh, he's, he's got a hoot hoot. He threw me off, he got a hoot hoot. All right, that's okay. And let's go for a quick attack. I love that Buckbeak has quick attack because it'll let me get in that first hit before I even take any, any damage. All right, oh. Bug beak, you're in my way. And let's see what's going on here. Elder. It's an elder. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to continue to say something. Huh. He calls himself the leader. No, he doesn't call himself the leader. He calls himself the elder. But he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. You are so mean, Weasley. Weasley, use the escape rope. Escape rope? Escape rope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go and first a wild Pokemon will appear. And it's a ghastly. We're gonna go ahead and run away. And head over to this old man, where I'm pretty sure we have to battle him now. I'm not even sure what what we get out of battling him. I don't remember. I could have sworn. No, I'm getting my games mixed up. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right, Bell Sprout. We're gonna take him out with a gust. Super effective. Yes, Buckby grew into level 14, so we should be good. We should be real good. Are you kidding me? Hoot hoot! Hoot hoot! Why are you doing this? Buckbeak, you're sleeping on the job. Let's go. Buckbeak, don't you do this to me right now. Don't you do this. Wake up! Oh my god. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. And hoot hoot. Bye bye. I hate hypnosis. So annoying. And it would be like me to get all the. Like, 
for them to be asleep on all the turns. And but if I use hypnosis on them, of course they're gonna wake up like in the next turn. So dumb. So dumb. Alright, Bell Sprout's gone. We defeated the leader. I mean not the leader, the elder. <laughs> you should be able to stand up to Faulkner and you should be able to make good use of this. It is a technical machine called Flash. Yes, now we get to flash. Flash people. <laughs> Oh lord, when a Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. Ooh, I have Bellsprout. But, I really rather would not teach them Flash. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to teach any of the Pokemon, any of the TMs, until I get to the Elite Four. Because there's no point. There really is no point in teaching any of them now because they're not... They're not permanent members. I could lose any one of these Pokemon at any given time. This party that I have now is most definitely not the party I'm going in with to the Elite Four. Which is sad, but I know it's going to be true. I mean, if I'm going to end up losing some Pokemon along the way. Sad. So sad. Okay. So we're going to heal up, and now we're going to go ahead and take on that gym. Pray to the Pokemon gods that don't lose anybody. I mean, if I lose anybody, it's gonna be Buckbeak, because he's going out first, and he's gonna be like, <sighs> he's gonna be the only Pokemon I can, oh, I didn't talk to this guy. The only Pokemon I can use, because everybody else is super weak. Yo, champ in the making. I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. Oh, God. If you believe, then a championship dream can come true. This is exactly where Bo Dallas got his inspiration from, this dude, and I don't like him. You believe and listen. No, no, no. La, 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 la. I don't believe. <laughs> I really... That guy is so annoying. And oh, he aggravates me every time I see him. And a little smile on his face. I just want to punch him. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then good. You don't need to know because Bo Dallas is horrible. He's just... Ugh. He's a wrestler, by the way. And I can't believe he's related to Bray Wyatt. I really cannot. I mean, I can see the resemblance, but oh my god. Alright, so he's got a Spearow, level 9, no speeding up, I have to be super careful about this. Do not want to lose anybody. Alright, let's go for a tackle, because I seriously doubt that Gus is going to be able to do anything. I mean, it's my stab move, but they're flying type 2, so they'll probably be like resistant to it. Let's do another tackle, and of course my tackle would miss. I don't understand that. I seriously do not. I don't understand how I miss a tackle. I hate you, Spiro. I hate you. Thank you. Die. Die. Oh, Buckbeak grew to level 15. Oh, we got this. Oh, we have this. Because his ace is level 13. I did my research. <laughs> Alright. And who do you have? Ho oh, ho! You some kind of big shot. We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become Pokemon. No, to become bird Pokemon masters. Okay, they're not training to become Pokemon. They're not all Bill from Red, from Fire Red and Red. <laughs> okay, so he has a level 7 Pidgey. Not bad. Not bad. We can take on this guy. Let's go, Buckbeak. Don't miss any of your tackles. I'm going to need you to nail them all spot on. Thank you. Please and thank you. And then a quick attack. And I'm going to have to definitely heal you up before we go into... Face Faulkner. Alright, who do you have? He has another Pidgey. Let's go for a tackle. Thank you. Hit it. Hit it every time. Hit it every time. Oh crap. No, but quick attack doesn't miss, though it always hits, doesn't it? Because that's what I'm planning on using. Thank you. And Pidgey gone. Awesome. We won. So let's go ahead and heal. Oh, didn't need to do that. Bag. Let's get our medicine in here, potion, and heal up Buckbeak. Just so he's at 100%. And we can do this. We can do this. Alright. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. Faulkner. Whatever. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I wish I had an electric type, but oh well. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I think we'll be okay. I'm just, you know, I would feel more comfortable if I had a Pokemon that was super effective, but that's just the way I am. I always like to have Pokemon that's super effective against the gyms. 
so it'll be a little tougher, but we can do this. Right, Buffy? You've trained hard. You've trained hard. We can do this. We can do this. I'm just gonna need you to hit your tackles. Alright. And... Okay, we took that very well. Very well. And Pidgey is gone, but now he's got a Pidgeotto coming in. That Pidgeotto kind of scares me. Kind of scares me a little. I just don't want to win at the... Uh, no, yeah, we're going to keep battling. Yeah, I just don't want to win at the expense of Buckbeak. I'm really excited to have Buckbeak on my team now. He's growing on me. And I want to see him become a Pidgeotto. Yeah. That's like... Yeah, what? How is this Pidgeotto level 13, but I have a fit level 15 Pidgey? What? Don't understand. Alright, that tackle hardly did anything. So let's go for another one. Oh, you could take a gust. Oh god! Oh god! Um. I'm um, gonna want to heal first because. I don't think, if he does another gust, I don't think he can take it if it happens to be a crit. Oh, no bueno. Alright, so we're going to use the potion that will put us at 36. And use a tackle or something. Are you... Mm, little turd. Little turd use roost. Are you kidding me? We're back at square one. I hate you. I hate you, Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto. I can't even say his name right. I hate you, Pidgeotto. You are... You suck. Come on. Oh, stop using Gust. And I bet if I use my Gust, if I can do anything. I don't know why. This game's just rigged. We can still fly. No, you can't. Don't bite your clip your wings. Let's go. Don't use Roost. Oh, just a little more. Okay. You can take this Gust. You can take this Gust. <gasps> We can do this. We can do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bug beak. Oh my god. Way, way to hang in there. Bug beak. You are the man. You are the man, Bug beak. Oh my god. <gasps> he loves me. Bug beak loves me. He hung on with one HP. That was freaking amazing. Oh, I love you so much, Bug beak. If you're here right now, I give you a big hug. Big hug. <laughs> For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Screw you and your dad and your dad's Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. That's right. Damn straight. All right. Take this official Pokemon League badge. Damn. This one is a Zephyr badge. Oh my God. OMG. So we got our first badge, didn't lose any Pokemon, although that was really, really close and a lot closer than I definitely would like. With that badge, Pokemon included traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And we obtained TM51. Okay, so, um, I think, yeah, they can only use ones I know and it has Roost. I'm not going to use any of these TMs until we get to the Elite Four. So up next, we have to hit up Azalea Town, I believe. That's what he said. Oh my god, Pidgey! Oh my god! Pidgey, you the man! Woo! Oh my god, that is so crazy. What the heck is going on? Professor Elm, why are you calling me at 1.28 in the morning? <laughs> yeah, this is 128 in the morning. I'm recording this at this hour. This is bad. Uh, the details, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Click. All right, so yeah, I did ask about this, whether it was okay for me to keep the egg, and y'all said it was okay. Oh, wait, the Poke Center. Pokemon's up here. Y'all said it was okay, so we're going to definitely go ahead and keep Togepi in our party. Yeah. All right, so yes, we have the egg, and we'll eventually name it as soon as it hatches. I have no idea, but after a while... Okay. Thank you for the egg. And we need to heal. We need to heal before we... What's going on? Who are you? Me, oh my. That egg must be. I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm. And then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. Okay. Who are you? 
That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? Who are you? Why are you doing little circles? Strange lady? Stranger danger. Oh my gosh. Stranger danger. Okay, so we need to heal up poor Pidgey Pidgey. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was freaking amazing. Who's that dude? I'm going to talk to him right now. Okay, so we heal. We heal and we got everybody in our party. Nice and healed. Shard to berry. Shard to berry. Yeah, yeah. I tried berry for a shard. If you bring me some shards, I will give you three berries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. So, <laughs> where is Azalea Town? Let me look at the Poke Gear. Let me see if we can maybe even catch a new Pokemon before we head over to Azalea Town, which is um, right there. Okay. So we have to go south. We gotta go south. All right. Let's pick up a Pokemon on Route 32. Route 32. All right. So let's go and then we'll probably end the episode there because I want to be able to get a new Pokemon and be able oh wrong way and then be able to grind uh, off screen with uh, practically a full party we just need wait a minute do I already have a full party because I had oh, I already have a full party snap okay we'll still pick up a new party member we'll still pick up a new party member and I actually might still grind with that new party member and then swap out for the egg later on. Okay, so here we go and Route 32, nope, we are in the ruins of Owl. Alrighty then, I don't want to be here. There's, is there, what is there to do here? I'm going to skip it for now. Um, but what is there to do here in the ruins of Alf? Is there anything important? Do I really need to be there and do stuff? I have no idea. Okay, here's Route 32. So, what's this? Oh no, I was already in the patch. Oh my god! Did I really? Could I really? Yep, I could have really just gone straight down. I am unbelievable! Alright. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick up our first party member. Who is it going to be? First party member? We already have one. And it's gonna be a whooper! It's gonna be a whooper! That's awesome! And it's a male whooper who turns into Quag... Quagmire... No, Quagsire? <laughs> Quagsire, but I always end up naming them Quagmire. Um... I don't know if a quick attack will kill it. Let's switch over to Belle, who's got that vine whip. Might be super effective. I mean, it will be super effective, but will it be enough? Will it kill it? It will fucking kill it! Oh my god, I should've just... Oh my god, I'm so dumb because I... I don't even want to talk right now. I just finished killing off a new party member. So, yeah. There's that. And there goes my controller, I'm so mad. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here on a very disappointing note. Uh, if you did enjoy today's episode, please smash that like button. I upload Pokemon Soul Silver every Tuesday and Thursday. I upload Pokemon Mystical Version Mondays and Fridays. And then I also live stream Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer on Twitch on Wednesdays. I also live stream Saturdays and Sundays, but that's kind of like, eh, it's like whatever. It's random. And it's um, kind of spontaneous. But anyway, so uh, thank you guys again for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please smash that like button. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye!